Hey, what is going on? This is Rob from Panther. Today I'm going to show you how to create this scanimation spiral in Illustrator. First thing, go to the fill. This is the fill. Click on the none and then click on the stroke. So it's going to be on the top and select the color. I'm going to go with black. Select the ellipse tool, press and hold shift plus alt and create a circle. Press and hold Control C and then Control F, or you also can go to Edit and Paste in front. Basically, it's going to create a new copy. And press Control Shift plus All again. Scale this up like that. I'm gonna select this one again. Press Control C, Control F. Press and hold Shift and take this upper part and scale it up until they intersect at the center point. Select this one again. Press Control C, Control F. Press and hold Shift and scale downwards until they intersect these anchor points. Also press Ctrl Y to see if they snapped perfectly so you don't have any issues later. Ctrl Y again. I'm gonna select them all, press and hold Shift plus M or you can go and select the Shape Builder tool. And we're gonna unite some of these elements. So just press and just drag it and combine these three elements here. Do the same thing with the other part. Okay, I'm gonna scale this down and I also want to make the align stroke to center like that. And I'm gonna select this one, you know, and press and hold shift and select the other one also. Just drag it out and as you can see we got multiple circles in here. We don't need these so I gotta delete them. And I gonna swap this so I gonna press on this little arrows. So swap fill and stroke. So now we're on the fill. And now long, long press to the ellipse tool, select the rectangle tool. I'm gonna create a line like this big, you know, like the circle thickness. And now I'm gonna press and hold alt drag it to the right also press shift to isolate it i'm gonna go somewhere around here and i'm gonna make this thin yeah something like this select them both go to object blend and make and from here we're gonna go and double click on the blend tool and we're gonna make these more rare so select specified steps and decrease the number or increase the number but the main idea is to these these parts to have some uh, space in between. I gotta go with 43 and click OK. Go to Object, Expand, click OK. Go to the brushes. Here are the brushes. If you don't have the brushes, go to Windows and select Brushes. And just drag and drop this one right here. Select the Pattern Brush and then click OK. You can also rename it, click OK. I can delete this one, I'm gonna create another circle. So I'm gonna go with the circle again and I'm gonna create another circle on this. So press and hold shift and create a circle like so. Press and hold shift plus alt, scale it down until they go into the center right here. See that? And I'm gonna go click on the stroke so it's gonna be on the top and go to the brushes and select the new brush that you created. Now go to object, expand appearance. And I'm gonna unite this because these lines are combined together. So I'm gonna go to the pathfinder and unite. If you don't have the pathfinder, you can go to windows and select the pathfinder. Usually this is not activated. Okay, so I'm gonna need to position this uh, right where this starts. So I'm gonna right click actually and go to transform, reflect, vertical and click OK. As you can see, we got the thicker part here and I'm gonna rotate it until it matches, you know, the starting point here, this edgy point. I'm gonna select both to see what is going on. I'm gonna go a little bit more. From here, I'm going to delete this one because I don't need it. From here, select all the elements, press and hold Shift plus M, or you can go here to the Shape Builder tool. Press and hold Alt this time. So as you can see, we got the little arrow and you got the little plus in there. And if you press and hold Alt, it's gonna change it to minus. And this way, if you select these elements, it's gonna delete them. So we're gonna delete all of them. 
From here, I'm gonna delete this also. These are grouped already. Press and hold Alt. Press and hold Shift, rotate it. And just place it back here until they match perfectly. And this is how you make a Scanimation Spiral. Thank you so much for watching. And if you're new on the channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get notified with daily updates. And also check out the rest of the videos at the end. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.